Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Play the gaming, I'm John, and hey, let's pick up where we last left off. Now, we were about to take the first step onto our grand journey to fend off the evil Gigas. And what's this? It's a crow. Come here. I don't want to talk to you, I want to fight you. Always good to build up experience points. Oops. Ooh, that was close. Oh, a cookie. Love cookies. Alright, now, so where we want to head to? We want to head to the next... Or, actually, we want to go into town. That's exactly where we want to go. Because, you know... Paint the town red. Not really. Man, I'm surprised Bog isn't bleeding. Oh! That's gotta hurt. Now, pretty much, you're not killing the animals, you're just making them tame. As I said in the last episode, um, Gigas has corrupted the animals and people. Making them all, you know, harmful and, hey, a dog or... Dog or snake? Let's go for dog. Well, the good thing is, when you walk out of an area, it might reset the enemies. So, that dog wasn't there earlier until I walked off screen. The only problem is it can actually harm you. Sometimes it can spawn multiple enemies or enemies you do not want to fight. Like exploding trees or UFOs. It, it get, it, I'll show you later. Much later in the game. How did that happen? Okay. Now here's the thing. You can actually heal yourself outside the game. Just like that. How cool is that? There's no Pokemon Center or anything like that. The only thing is, the only thing is that it takes up PP, so you know. Oh. There we go. Now, the stronger you get, the better it is. I know you only gain petty XP, but it will help you in the future. Let's see what this says. Oops. Conet Public Library. Use the library more. Now we're gonna wanna go in here. Oops. Not to learn per se. But what we wanna do is actually, I think, talk to this lady. Yes. Alright. Yeah, this game does tend to break the fourth wall a lot. Oops. There we go. And we can clearly see that Ape has made their stamp on this game, uh, on the top left. <coughs> Man, I can't wait till my nose is unclogged. Anyways. Uh, so pretty much there's a food... There's f there is a food. There's a burger stand, food stand... Hotel, hospitals, and the shop. Now, hospitals we won't really use until much later. I'll talk to some people around here. Huh, let's see. It's in here. Hmm. No, I think there were UFOs. Yeah, you want to make sure when you call to save your game, use a black telephone. Never ever use a green telephone, unless you absolutely have to. And save most of your money, it's, you're, you can buy some pretty good stuff later on. Yep, pretty much all this instruction here is actually helpful in the game. Hmm. 
Alright, so pretty much magic butterflies, um, if I ever find one, you'll get to see it, but magic butterflies restore your PP and HP, so it's really helpful. Now, our first goal is to go to Giant Step. That is the first location. Oh. Well, somebody had to take a dump. What if I need to go? I gotta pee! I wanna play Fireman. Gotta see a Yeah, I gotta see a man about a dog. No? Uh, okay. Go in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Uh-huh, sure you are. There is really no point to that. Anyways. As we were... Talk to you. Oh, I do have a yellow backpack, I just noticed that. Now you're gonna go back out of town. Talk to this little dirty boy. That sounded wrong, but I mean, look at him, he looks like Pigpen. You know, from... Uh, Peanuts. Alright, so now what you wanna go, what you wanna do, is go through here. Work your way to that little house right here. And it's a tree house! And you wanna talk to each one of these guys. <laughs> well, that was weird. Alright, now you wanna talk to this guy. And we have our first, uh, hat. <laughs> Mr. Baseball Cap. Which you can get it for, this is actually getting it free rather than paying, I think, $50 for it? Or is it 10 You're gonna wanna equip it. Damn it, I gotta learn which button is what. Okay. Alright, and... It's gonna be under Alter. Equip it. Alright, now our defense is pretty good. Solid, I guess, for our level. Okay. Now we can't go near giant step yet. Can we? Now this guy isn't mean, he's just a mole. Alright, now read the following hint. You allow enemies to approach you from your backside, back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. Which means that they get to go first in battle. When they approach you on this way, your TV screen. No, no, I mean the world in front of you. A red swirl will show for a second. That means they have the upper hand. However, if we approach them from the backside, we get a surprise attack. Meaning that a green swirl will appear, meaning we have the surprise opening attack. Giving us the advantage. And at the moment. Oh, a bird. Oh, that was a snake! I thought it was a bird! Alright, let's bash the hell out of the snake. Alright, now you want to talk to these two. Yeah, at the moment, you can't really get in there. Now you can check the sign. It says don't enter, but no matter what you do, you can't get in. Let's battle this crow real quick. Come here. Come here. Crows are a good way to get cookies. Oh, whoa. Hey, not cool. Now, if a crow steals your item, don't fret. You will get that item back at the end of the battle. But, well, maybe not. I take that back. Ugh. I'm glad I didn't turn around. <clears throat> oh, smash! That's good for us. Ooh, baby. Hypnosis. Alright, that's a nice attack. Or a nice uh, defensive maneuver. Hey, come here, crow. Aw, oh, we didn't get the advantage. Oh, well. Now usually spiteful crows have cookies, so they're they're good to battle. Yeah. 
Okay. Hey, you want to start leveling up. There we go. Because pretty soon, you're going to have your first battle. Boss battle. As is. Um. <laughs> Talk to this guy. Rastaman. Now, Paulo. Paulo is an essential key character. Uh, we won't... We won't meet her just yet. We have to go to Giant Step first. I don't know if we can go in here. What do you have to say to us? Uh huh. Now, there is no day and night. I mean, I guess there is in a way. But there's no actual way of telling what, when is day and when is night. It kinda, it's just always daytime, pretty much. Nope, it's not magic. Paula does not use magic, I can tell you that much. Something in there, I hate that. Alright, as this lady just said, um, you if your uh, friend becomes unconscious, which is pretty much one of your party members, you do want to go to the hospital. Doing so that um, will actually bring your friend back to life, meaning that he or she will be revived, I guess you could say. Now we're going to want to go down here, but we're going to be careful. Oh hey look, a magic butterfly! These guys are helpful. And once it makes you relax, it restores some health and PP. Or a lot of it, should I say. Now, these are not racist people, as much as they look like it. These are actually the sharks. They can be quite annoying, if you ask me. Oh jeez, see what I mean? What happens when you walk out of frame? Sometimes more enemies can spawn. But the thing is, they know we're underleveled. Not by much, though. Uh oh. That's right, two enemies can attack you at the same time. Um, now what we're going to want to do is be very careful to begin with. Oh! Oh! I don't think I can take much longer. thing about enemies, enemies can actually kind of screw up, or sometimes they'll not do what they're supposed to do. Like the Pogo Punk, eh, the Pogo Punk fell down. That does happen, and it actually does work to your advantage, if you ask me. Ooh, a hamburger, that's excellent. Hamburgers store a lot more health than they do, uh, cookies. You do want hamburgers. Now, let's let this guy come to us. No, oh, he's stuck behind a mailbox, that's great. Let's see if we can kind of go around. No, no, that's not even possible. Uh, or, well, let's use a cookie, actually. Let's, let's eat a cookie. There we go. That's better. Alright. Ooh, I love this song. Let's kick his ass. Oh, smash! Awesome. Alright. Now, if he had massively damaged me, and my meter was rolling down, if I had killed him, before my meter hit the, my HP meter hits zero, my health actually stops dropping. I will not die. That's what's so great about this. It's like a it's like a um hmm. I don't know how to explain it. It's just really cool, I think. Alright, who's next? I know I'm gonna do a two on two. 
or two on one, for that matter. Oh. Well, that was interesting. Oh, another skate punk. However, we're gonna need to heal up. Oh boy, he called for help. That's the bad thing about battles like these. Um, they can actually call for help. Oh, whoa, that's not good. Oh. Uh, let's... Yeah. Oh no! No! Bog, it looks like you got your head handed to you. I would like to give it another shot. That's what happens when you die, folks. That's right, we started back to where we were. That makes any sense. It's my level. Status four. Okay. Do I still have a Mr. Baseball cap? Yes, I do! Alright. Proceed. With caution. Alright, so pretty much you just go back to where you were. I think you do lose a little money, which isn't that bad. I think I got- Whoa, hey there! Don't be attacking me. Oh, don't bite me either. Ugh, take that. At least it's only doing 1 HP. Another the problem is once you faint, you don't have any PP. Now this is where the importance of hotels comes in. And let's go find one, actually. Yep. Well, let's take care of you first. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I forgot to mention. If you're over-leveled and you rapidly tap, uh, I think it's A? Or for me, I put my control as Z. Um, when it's a weak enemy and you're over-leveled, it'll automatically just finish the battle and you'll gain EXP. It's pretty nice. That way you don't have to go through a useless battle. Uh, hotel, hotel, where's the hotel? There it is, it's on that side. But first, I am feeling hungry. Who wants trash can burgers? I know I do. Yeah, that's right, this is probably one of the many games that promotes eating from trash cans. Let's buy something here. Alright, I would actually like... Oh, I don't have enough for a hamburger. Give me a bag of fries. No. Now, this is the drugstore. Before we go to the hotel, we need some money. Now, this is the green phone that we're talking about. It charges you for a save. And yes, you can get homesick. That is actual, it's an actual status condition right here. Yes, I do. Thank you, Rafini. Yes, thank you, ATM. Let's withdraw some money. I'll just take fifty dollars. All right. All right. Let's see what you can help me with. Oh no, you don't need a cold remedy yet. We'll need that later, actually. Now. Here you have a crack bat, T-ball bat, which is an upgrade for Ness. Cheap bracelet, which does up your defense, but let's just grab a T-ball bat. Yes. No. Now, just just let's uh draw some more money here. I'll take thirty. That should be enough for a hotel. If not, then, well, we'll come back. Okay. Now, you can't get hit by cars. What the hell? <laughs> like I said, you can't get hit by cars. So don't worry about cars driving in the street. Alright. Oh, hey, dog. 
Yes, I knew about it. <laughs> now talk to just about everyone you meet. You'll find some interesting characters. Yeah, play no garbage in the garbage can. Play no garbage in the garbage can. Play no garbage in the garbage can. Let's see, what do you have to say? Hmm. No, let's not stay this time. But we will save. Let's record my data. No, let's keep continuing. Now the thing is, when you save, it prompts you to actually turn the game off. But your father will actually tell you to not reset your game to continue playing. He'll actually recommend you turn it off, which is kind of neat. In a way, it's promoting that you shouldn't play too much. Get outside, go get some fresh air. Go on an adventure. You know? Alright, well, before we end this episode, let's take a couple more sharks. Rematch, punk. I'm ready for you. Bash him again, Ness. Do it! Do it! Alright. Got revenge on that damn punk. Now I'm only... Let me see, I need 18 EXP. I just gained 12. I don't need that much to my next level. Ooh, fruit juice. That's pretty good. Yeah, just about everyone you talk to, or if you do talk to people, they will pretty much summon, or they will fight you, I guess. Or, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I won the battle, so who cares? Alright. Ooh, a hamburger! Awesome! Level up. What do you gotta say? I do want to visit Frank. I, I would like to meet this Frank person. <laughs> uh, sadly, you can't play any of these games. However, you do get to fight sharks. Oh! Alright. Doesn't take too much, uh, strength to beat these pogo punks and skate punks and or just anyone in the sharks gang. However, Frank is a little bit of an exception. Now, no matter how many times you talk to this guy, he won't fight you. However, if I'm right, people on the top floor will. Huh. Oh, that's weird. Whoa. Spanky? No one calls me Spanky and gets away with it. Alright, Skate Punk. Skate Punk and his cohort. Let's kick some ass. Oh man, that's not good. Th okay, you do that, Pogo Punk. Well, at least they're only doing 5 HP of damage. As long as no one calls for help, I think we're okay. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, I think we need that bag of fries. Oh no! Bloody hell. Yes, let's give it another shot. Now the only problem with that... What the heck? What? What? Okay, that was weird. I've never had that happen before. Now the thing about that is... My HP was too low to actually use the bag of fries to save myself. Actually, if I was fast enough, I could have done it, but it wasn't. Now, the good thing is, if you defeat an enemy that's supposed to be there already, he won't be there anymore. Hmm, I guess he's the only one who's gonna fight me. Yeah. Time to kick your ass after calling me Spanky. Oh, 
Ah, uh, yes, man, Junior. We must defeat you. How can a holo hoop damage me, you know? That's that's the uniqueness of this game right there. Alright, yes, man, Junior, you're done with. Alright, now that we've cleared out the sharks, there's one more shark we need to defeat. Before we take on the gang member, or the leader of the sharks. Now, you'll know that when you're fully healed. Uh, I'll do the bag of fries. 21 HP. How much HP do I have? Stats. Ah, uh, 60. Okay, I think I can deal with this. Um, let's talk to you. No, I don't. However, I think if you say yes, he will let you go see his boss. Or the boss of the sharks. For that matter. Um, there we go. That wasn't too hard. Now, before we go in, we're gonna do something. We are going to go... Oh, never mind, let's go back in. I take that back, we're not going anywhere. Oh man, Pogo Punks. Not good. However, sometimes the toughest encounters mean bigger rewards. Good, they're missing. Ooh, a smash! Smashing, my dear. Smashing. Oh, oof. I managed to make it inside before anything happened. Alright, now you want to go through this door. If anything. Let's see if I can save state. Can I save state? Yes, I can. Awesome. Alright. It's time to meet Frank Fly, leader of the sharks. I can't say my name, but it's time for our first boss battle. Frank Fly, that's right. Stinky, nasty dude. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, Guts is pretty much your attack, I guess. Oh, I should probably eat a burger. Oh, stop hitting my guts. Now, the thing is, it's a two-part battle. Once you defeat Frank... Well, it's good to know my guts went back up. You got to face this robot. It's a little bit of an awkward situation. Now, there is a pattern to this. You want to attack when he has a burst of steam. It's a little bit awkward, I guess. So pretty much, it's just a burst of steam is... Oh, well, I, I was supposed to defend before, but... There we go. I like the music, though. But anyways, the main idea is pretty much just to defend when he does a... Um, he throws a punch. And to attack when he has a burst of steam. Once you get the pattern down, it's not too hard, but... You know, if you're leveled up enough... You won! The winner is you! Yes, please, tell me about Giant Step. Mm -hmm. Now, you might think we're off to Giant Step. But we're actually not. Now, if anyone that's stopping us from going anywhere, just one thing. It's the police. But, that's for next time. Till next time, guys, I'm John with Blades Gaming. Hey, stay tuned! We got more on this crazy adventure.
Later, guys.